Einsiedeln is a municipality and district in the canton of Schweiz in Switzerland known for its monastery, the Benedictine Einsiedeln Abbey. Einsiedeln is also the birthplace of Paracelsus, a Renaissance physician and alchemist who is credited with first naming zinc. History Prehistoric Einsiedeln archaeologists have discovered numerous artifacts from the Stone Age and the Bronze Age in the Einsiedeln area. However, it appears from these artifacts, some of which are about 12,000 years old, that the area was thickly wooded and only used by hunters. Until the early Middle Ages there were no permanent settlements in the area. St. Meinrad Street, Meinrad, of the family of the Counts of Hohenzollern, a Benedictine monk from Reichenau Island in Lake Constance on the German-Swiss border came to the region in 835 seeking seclusion. He established his hermitage on the slopes of Mount Etzel. When he arrived in the area, he had with him a wonder-working statue of the Virgin Mary which he had been given by the Abbess Hildegard of Zurich. Near his hermitage, he established a small shrine to house the statue, which became a small pilgrimage site. According to legend he died in 861 at the hands of two robbers, Richard and Peter, who coveted the treasures offered at the shrine by pilgrims. The robbers were then followed by two ravens into town and drew attention to them with loud squawking. This is the reason for the two ravens on the village flag. During the next 80 years St. Meinrad's hermitage was never without one or more hermits emulating his example. One of the hermits, named Eberhard, previously provost of Strasbourg, erected a monastery and church there, of which he became first abbot. Work on the monastery is said to have begun in 934. Following a miraculous vision by Eberhard, the new church was dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Growth of the town While the town of Einsiedeln is first mentioned in 1073, monastery in the area around were settled earlier. At the time of the foundation of the abbey, the local hunters and small farmers of the forest placed themselves under the authority of the noble-born abbot. The surrounding population was known as Waldeluter because of the forests around the abbey. The abbey encouraged the Waldeluter to settle in surrounding villages and begin farming. The alpine valleys were used to raise cattle, which became increasingly more important to the village. By 1250 the major business in the village was breeding and raising cattle. Expansion of grazing land into nearby alpine valleys led to a two-century conflict with Schweiz. As early as 1100, the villages of Einsiedeln and Schweiz were in conflict over land near the two Mythen mountains. Over the following century, conflicts over the land led to many court battles and actual battles. In 1173 when the Habsburgs gained rights over the village of Schweiz and in 1283 when they raised the abbey to an independent principality under the Habsburgs. This raised a local conflict into a regional one. The Habsburgs were able to quiet the conflict for a few years, until 1291 when Schweiz, Uri and Unterwald and revolted against the Habsburgs. In 1314 the conflict flared up again with an attack by Schweiz into Einsiedeln. This attack triggered a series of border raids that, along with other events, in 1315 led to a Habsburg invasion in their crushing defeat of the Battle of Morgarten. It wasn't until 1350 that the conflict was resolved and the borders between Einsiedeln and Schweiz were fixed. In 1394 the abbey came under the protection of Schweiz and the rights of high justice went over to Schweiz. Low justice though remained with the abbey. In 1399 the Drey Teller is first mentioned. Initially the Drey Teller only addressed any issues that affected the free wall de In 1564 they were able to issue a binding ordinance for all three groups. In 1657 the Drey Teller changed its name to the Session. The relationship between the three parties was not always smooth. In 1764, an attempt by the abbot to require tradesmen to only practice their trade in Einsiedeln and preventing skilled workers from settling in among the Waldeluter led to open conflict. Schweiz supported the abbey against the Waldeluter and in 1766 crushed the revolt. 
However, the abbey lost much of its independence and thereafter was treated more as a subject of Schweiz instead of a partner. During Napoleon's invasion of Switzerland in 1798, the abbey was suppressed for about three years and the land was added to the city of Schweiz. Following the collapse of the post-invasion Helvetic Republic, in 1803 as part of the Act of Mediation Einsiedeln became a Bezirk in the canton of Schweiz. During the Restoration starting in 1815, the Abbey's power began to grow in the canton. A desire for reform led the districts of March. Kusnacht in Fafikong to declare themselves Canton Schweiz Ozeros land with a liberal constitution in 1832. The abbey stood on the side of the conservative faction in the canton, which caused tense relations between them and the surrounding villages until the creation of the federal state in 1848. Geography Einsiedeln is situated in the valley of the Alp River. It comprises six localities, Benor, Egg, Willersel, Uthel, Gross and Trixlaw. The village of Biberbrug is shared with the municipality of Fusersburg. Einsiedeln has a total area of 99.1 square kilometers, of which nearly half is agricultural and only slightly less is forested. The rest of the land is either settled or non-productive. Einsiedeln is located approximately 7.5 kilometers from the southern end of the Lake of Zurich, and 2 kilometers east of the artificial Silsi Lake. It is on a plateau above sea level. The town is located at an altitude of 470 meters higher than Zurich, with which it has a railway connection. Einsiedeln is also the capital and only municipality of the district of Einsiedeln. Demographics Einsiedeln has a population of 14,949. As of 2007, update, 13.4% of the population was made up of foreign nationals. Over the last 10 years the population has grown at a rate of 14.8%. Most of the population speaks German, with Serbo-Croatian being second most common and Albanian being third. As of 2000, update, the gender distribution of the population was 50.4% male and 49.6% female. The age distribution, as of 2008, update, in Einsiedeln is 3,211 people or 25.4% of the population is between 0 and 19. 3,628 people or 28.7% are 20 to 39, and 3,964 people or 31.4% are 40 to 64. The senior population distribution is 1,009 people or 8.0% of 65 to 74. There are 609 people or 4.8% who are 70 to 79 and 201 people or 1.59% of the population who are over 80. There is one person in Einsiedeln who is over 100 years old. As of 2000, update, there are 5,093 households, of which 1,649 households contain only a single individual. 347 or about 6.8% are large households, with at least five members. In the 2007 election the most popular party was the SVP which received 43.5% of the vote. The next three most popular parties were the CVP, the FDP and the SPS. The entire Swiss population is generally well educated. In Einsiedeln about 66% of the population have completed either non-mandatory upper secondary education or additional higher education. Einsiedeln has an unemployment rate of 1.29%. As of 2005, update, there were 551 people employed in the primary economic sector and about 209 businesses involved in this sector. 1,630 people are employed in the secondary sector and there are 199 businesses in this sector. 3,017 people are employed in the tertiary sector, with 486 businesses in this sector. 
from the 2000 census. Update 9,834 or 77.9% .9 are Roman Catholic, while 1,240 or 9.8% belong to the Swiss Reformed Church. Of the rest of the population, there are less than five individuals who belong to the Christian Catholic faith. There are 288 individuals who belong to the Orthodox Church, and there are five individuals who belong to another Christian Church. There are 332 who are Islamic. There are 106 individuals who belong to another church, 486 belong to no church, are agnostic or atheist and 329 individuals did not answer the question. Historic population The historical population is given in the following table. Transport. Einzadeln railway station is a terminal station of the Zurich S-Bahn on the lines S-13 and S-40, provided by the Pseudo-Bahn. Climate. Between 1961 and 1990 Einzadeln had an average of 156.7 days of rain per year and on average received 1,753 mm of precipitation. The wettest month was June, during which time Einzadeln received an average of 206 mm of precipitation. During this month, there was precipitation for an average of 15.3 days. The month with the most days of precipitation was May, with an average of 15.3, but with only 158 mm of precipitation. The driest month of the year was February with an average of 108 mm of precipitation over 15.3 days. Sports Shanzen Einzadeln is the national ski jumping venue of Switzerland. Tourism The village of Einzadeln is a popular tourist destination in central Switzerland. The Benedictine Einzadeln Abbey, located within the village, is considered one of the most important Roman Catholic pilgrimage sites in Europe and is called the most important place of pilgrimage dedicated to the Virgin Mary in Switzerland. In addition to the Abbey, Einzadeln is also a popular destination for sports year-round. The village has three ski areas which include lifts as well as ski jumps. Since the Middle Ages the Graces Chapel and a statue of the Black Madonna have been a centerpiece of the pilgrimage. The statue is so famous that a copy can also be seen in the French Jura town of Pontellier. Between 150,000 and 200,000 pilgrims visit the Graces Chapel each year. Besides being a site for pilgrimages, Einzadeln is a tourist destination for those interested in winter sports. The village has its own ski jump, ski lifts, ski toes and winter sports centers, which are in the nearby area of Hockeybrig and Brunny. The nearby reservoir, Silsi, is used in summer for swimming, surfing and sailing, and in the winter for ice skating. The dam, which retains the lake, produces electricity for the trains and protects the city of Zurich further down the valley from the flood of the SIHL. These days, fewer pilgrims come to Einzadeln. For that reason, some of the former hotels have now closed. At the same time, the village has experienced a boom with day tourists, owing to the clear air and mountain views. Because of the high quality of life locally, the population is growing faster than is normal in Switzerland. Famous people from Einzadeln, Paracelsus. Andreas Kuttel, ski jumper, Meinrad Lienert, Swiss writer, Milika Pavlovic, Serbian pop singer, Marcel Fassler, racing driver.